Hey YouTube, it's Dana of Tabitha's Treasures. I just wanted to get on real quick and talk to y'all for a minute, show you what I'm working on. Um, right now I'm working on a cowl that uh, Carrie Penny sent me the yarn for. It's a boucle yarn. It comes out really soft when you just... And I'm only using a double crochet, but I go in between the stitches. So, it's working up really pretty. And stripes. It's pretty long already. So, it's one thing that I'm working on here lately. Just tinkering around with that. And then the other thing that I'm working on, I'm going to have the brain power and don't get too tired of single crochet, is the pattern by Gypsy Rose. It is her, um, convertible skirt top pattern and you can see where I kind of turned it around I don't know how I did that but Gypsy Rose I altered your pattern but yeah um hoping to finish this up and gift it to my niece when I'm done but I still got quite a ways to go I'm on row 39 39 so that's just a couple of things that I've been working on I have not done the star for my lap can yet I need to get that done as soon as I get some brain power back um, so we've been talking a little bit about uh, what happens in my life and Something really perplexing the other night happened, and I woke up to a new haircut. You know, before I could pull it all the way over my shoulder, you could see it, but now it is short. I did not cut my hair. I did not cut my hair. I don't know. I don't know who did, but I'm thinking it was, you know. Um, then today, something even more perplexing happened, and that was uh, somebody in my little online group posted Z's last video of the unicorn challenge I went all through my history looking to see if maybe I had watched that video um, there's no uh, there's no video in my history that shows me that I watched that video at all until today um, now this happened on the 4th the evening of the 4th and I woke up on the 5th with my hair cut. Z, I looked at the time or date on her posted video and it's the 5th. So there's no way that I could have seen that video before this happened. So I don't know how it happened. It just happened and a lot of things have been going on here lately that um got me a little stumped um, at some point um, this next week I'm going to see a doctor about um, some treatments because things are getting a little out of hand and it's really frightening to not recall certain things that you've done um, Um, yeah, so, forget what I was saying. My husband is really concerned about all this, and he, um, 
has agreed to go and talk to the doctor with me. I have not even a handful of friends that have known me 30, 35 years that have seen me at my worst. And I've had both of these friend, longtime friends talk to him and tell him, look, you don't want it to go so far. Um, because when it really does get bad, it gets really bad. So we're going to take action now and see what, what we can do. And uh, now hopefully um, I'm hoping that I don't have to become institutionalized again. Um, it's really scary. But if it's, if necessary, I will go into um, a hospital or a treatment plan or whatever and um, follow the plan. But as far as state hospitals go, I don't want to go back there. Um, I've been able to control things really well, staying away from people and just keeping to myself. But I want to get back out and be social again. So... Um, getting on medicine and getting on the right treatment is really crucial for me if I want to be active and social. So, um, anyway, that's what's happening with me. So, just felt like, um, if I go missing for a little while, then you pretty much know why. And, uh, not to be worried for me. I have a really good support system and have made some really good connections and um, so hopefully Wednesday when I see my doctor we'll be able to come up with something that will will help me so I wish you all um, a good night I hope you all have a happy Sunday uh, take care Sending you all my love.